Yeah, so I bought this rig off Craigslist in November 2019. 88 Ford Econoline E150 V8 5.0 liter with only 56,000 miles on it when I picked it up. Original from 88. Um, no repairs to the engine. It was originally a handicap access van with a lower roof and it had a wheelchair lift, a brawn wheelchair lift in the back. You know, I ripped all that out. I ripped it to sheet metal and then started to build it from the ground up. I did most of the work myself uh, with help from my dad in my garage at home. Um, the big things that I had outsourced were I had to replace the roof. So this is a um, 30 inch high top fiberine uh, fiberglass reinforced roof with wood uh, glassed in. The only thing I had to repair was the exhaust. There was a hole in the exhaust, so it was basically straight piped when I got it. It sounded really cool, but um, it would have got annoying after a while. The reason I built this car uh, was to surf more, because it allows you to stay at the beach, wake up, have a beach day, stay there all day, surf in the morning, surf in the afternoon, have lunch, hang out, read books. This is the best way to do that in, in order to up and go in time when the swells are and hit different locations at the right time. Having a vehicle like this makes it a thousand times more easy personally. In the back of the van I added a spare tire carrier and a ladder in order to access the roof and clean the solar panels. So I have the barn doors here and these open out like so. I built this little flip up table for my Coleman stove and some other things. Pretty simple design. Just a little triangle and a piano hinge and it just flips down easy. I custom cut the piece of wood for the table. All the wood in the van I did myself. I cut all the door panels myself. These are from finished plywood, one fourth inch thickness. And I thought they turned out real nice. Passenger and driver side style door panels. Um, this van came with power locks and windows. Uh, I put this little surfboard kind of door handle in. New kicker speakers. So the van has two in the front door panels, two in the rear facing out the back and two in the middle of the car facing forward towards the cab. I put in this really nice Pioneer stereo and this is the coolest feature. Hit this button and the uh, screen pops out. Bluetooth radio, Spotify. I'm trying to hook in a uh, backup camera soon but yeah you can open and close this pretty easy. Just kind of pops in and out. I put in this rubber floor mat. Um, I cut it to fit. Fits real nice and keeps the sand out, easy to clean. I added this little Amazon 18 inch rear view mirror. You can really see the entire uh, car on the inside and through all the windows. So I'd recommend that if you don't have a backup camera. Got that old school dashboard. Up above the cab I have this homemade wooden uh, bulkhead thing I made with some pieces of trim on it so that you can put clothes in here and uh, different sweatshirts and this is actually where I keep most of my clothes to be honest. And then up here I have the Shiraka marine grade three speed fan. It's very quiet. If I come down here to my control center and I flip the switch for the fan I can control the speed and um, it's not too loud adjustable. These things are great. As you can see this is a high roof van so the the biggest point was I'm a tall guy I'm uh, six foot six and I wanted to be able to stand and that doesn't really work in most vans. As you can see I can stand up fully back straight and I got about half an inch clearance which is kind of nice or less. Paneled the entire roof with cedar planking. Smells amazing. It smells like a sauna in here, but like not hot. I'm currently working on the back. I think I'm gonna build a little 
lip over here and then maybe some cabinets up top. I built this real simple uh, surfboard carrier. It carries up to three surfboards. This is a 9-4 nose rider longboard and it fits in here no problem. I have just a simple hook curtain system. You unhook one side of the curtains, hook it in like so, and you have total privacy. Blackout curtains, no one can see in. So now we'll talk about my sink and kitchen system. It was a Home Depot cheap a vanity that I cut down the bottom I had a little kick plate I cut that down and I cut some of the top down and made my own uh, countertop some people were like dude why is your kitchen so low to the ground um, as you can see it probably goes up to my knees this looks better in my opinion to the sink this is a miniature bar sink so this is an extendable faucet so you can wash your hair or something if you don't want to use the shower out the back of the van yeah, so it's nice. It's got plenty of power, five gallon water pump underneath with different nozzles, um, plenty of soap, and yeah, that, that does the job for me. Yeah, five gallon per minute water pump. I have some cleaning supplies, trash bag, little trash bin. Every van or house has a messy drawer. It has like toothpaste, sunscreen, tape, all that stuff. And then in the bottom is usually where I keep dry food. So I have a thousand watt inverter that when I turn it on I can run microwave or something small. In this van I have solar panel that hooks into the auxiliary battery underneath here. But I also have a uh, battery isolator so it trickles back from the main battery when you're running the car and then it charges the auxiliary as well so I'm pretty much always topped up. Um, this is my water pump switch so I can turn that off. This is my fan switch. These are my LED lights that I have up top. Um, just strip lights that color change from Amazon. My fridge is a 12 volt fridge and it holds a lot of food. Right now I just have some beer and I usually stock it up all the way. No need for ice so you can fill it up all the way to here. Usually keep like my backpack under here. So I have storage bin here, storage bin here and then this is actually a two opposing table bench setup. Like a picnic table so this this table pops up and then has a pedestal and if I want to go into table mode I can do that. So I keep my Coleman stove and propane tucked away behind the driver's seat and then in the pockets behind each seat I have you know various charging cords, paper towel, water bottle, extra oil and a dust buster. So this is what the back of the van looks like when it's opened up. Outside shower hookup and marine grade speakers out the back. A little patch of turf when I surf and want to change out of my wetsuit, I have my wetsuit box that carries all my goods. So you open up this box and shower hookup. So I just take this guy out and it's just a basic garden hose nozzle, but it has a pressurized cap system. Plug it in, take a shower, you can wash your car off. I usually just put it on shower mode and I can take a shower that way. It'll run for a long time, 20 gallons underneath at this flow is pretty good so yeah thank you for watching uh, if you want to like and subscribe i'll be updating the van here and there and posting other content related to this if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment